Hi, I'm going to take you through how we use live groups in our Ebersonic animation workflow. But first, a quick introduction on what a live group is. So you can use live groups to create compositing templates that can be shared throughout the studio. This will help artists get up to speed and focus on the compositing rather than the setup. We chose to use them in our Ebersonic animation workflow because they allow artists to collaboratively work on the same shot, but in multiple nuke scripts without the need to render to see the updates. They also let us expose knobs from inside the group to the node itself, which means when viewing the live group or even the tool that we create using them, you'll still have control on those knobs. There are two nodes that we use with the live group, the live group itself and the live input. So for more information on live groups, you can go to our learn.foundry site and under the live group section, we have all the information about what a live group is how using it with the live input lets artists collaboratively work together, the different inputs and controls. And when we click on using the live group node, you can see this functionality comparison table that shows you the differences between the group and the gizmo, a pre-comp node and the live group itself. Now that we've had a quick introduction on what a live group is, let's jump into Nuke and actually make one. So here we are back in Nuke. And I'm just going to delete these. We are wanting to create a tool that can be shared throughout the studio. That's going to be the overall shot treatment for all the shots that are being worked on. I'm going to create a few nodes. So let's start with a hue shift, a grade, and a glow. So for this tool, I'm going to use these three nodes, but you could build up your tool with as many nodes as you need. To create a live group, we select the nodes that we want to add into it and then hit tab and type in live group. Now those nodes have been added to the live group. We have a new live group node in our node graph, a new tab that has appeared. And when we click on that, we've got our live input, the three nodes that I had selected and an output. What's great with these live groups is that when we expose the knobs while we're creating the tool, we'll still be able to view those exposed knobs. If I float my live group, so we have a little live group here, and then we can enable edit mode. If I double click on one of my nodes, so let's do the hue shift, and let's say that on the live group, we want control over the brightness, hue rotation, and the saturation along the axis. So I'll select those and then drag and drop them onto our live group. So there's a new user tab. I'll name this treatment. And then let's say that I want a few knobs from the other nodes. So I'll just double click on the grade, let's drag the multiply across, and then the glow, and I'll drag the size across. So once we have all of the knobs that we want exposed, I'll disable edit mode, let's close all the properties in the properties panel, and then dock this live group back in there. Back on the node graph, we can see we've got our live group. And then if I click on our live group tab, at the moment, this hasn't been published, so it's not in a state that we can share it. We're going to need to publish this. We click the Publish button, then click on our file browser. And when that opens, set the path and the name of our file. So I'm just going to overwrite this one I have here. Make sure we've got a version number and .nk. Then we click Open and OK. So now our live group's been published. The file path has now been added to the live group. And if we have a look at that, we've now got the overall treatment Nuke script in our folder. Now that we have this tool and it's published and ready to be shared, let's open a shot that is currently being worked on and load it in. So what I'll do is I'll jump to the Nuke file. What's pretty cool is this script was created by using a live group. So if we have a quick look at this, what we have is we have the background elements. Then we have our mid-ground props with their passes being shuffled back in. Then we have our foreground elements, the crabs, again with their passes coming in. Then we have the atmosphere, the effects, and then the shot treatment, which we can see is actually driven by a live group as well. If I double click on our shot treatment, we can see we've got our file path. And what's pretty cool with live groups is we can see the updates that are coming through this without needing to render. So if I hit Alt and up arrow key, we've got version two and version three. 
so we can quickly compare between the different treatments that can be applied to the shot. And then we have the output. So like when we created our tool, the output was added at the end of the nodes. To add a live group into the script, all we need to do is like with any other node, hit tab and type in live group. We've got an empty live group here and I'll just drag and drop that into our main pipeline. To load the live group in, all we need to do is hit the folder icon and then click on the treatment. So I created this one a little earlier, click open and you can see the viewer has updated. We have a treatment tab like the one that we created, but we've got a few more knobs that were exposed and some titles added to it. So now that we have the overall treatment added in, we can take live groups one step further by using these live groups as a way to create a master script, whether you're the artist or the supervisor, to have an overview of all of the different shots that are currently being worked on. So here we have the master script. I have three live groups. These are all then plugged into a contact sheet node, which is why we can see the three shots in the viewer. Instead of updating one live group and its properties, if we select all of them in the node graph, we can hit Alt and the up and down arrow keys to update the versions of all of the selected live groups. Let's focus on one of the shots. So I'm going to have a look at this shot here. Let's hit one on our live group so we can view that in the viewer. So I'll double click on our live group and we've got it here in the properties. We've got our setup tab, our treatment tab. Then we have our crab tab. In this tab, we have some exposed knobs that are related to the different passes on the crab. So let's say that we're working through our shots and we decide that we want to make a slight change to this crab. We want to give it a bit of a lighter, more yellow light to it. Let's say this is the look that we want for the crab. What's great with using these exposed knobs is that we aren't actually affecting the internal script that this live group is pointing to. So if I come back to our live group tab and change the version, so we're now at version three, you can see that change has been carried across all of the different versions. So I'm just going to go back to version four. We've made the change, but we don't want it to be carried across all the different updated versions of the shot. What we can do is make this an editable live group right click and apply the override values to the live group and then publish it as a new version. So version five. Now if I version down, we have version four that doesn't have the treatment to it and version five. As an artist using this master script, you still have complete control of the comp that the live group is pointing to. So if we open up this live group hitting control enter, Looking at this script, we can see it's got the same setup as the other shot that we were working on has. And if we just come in and focus on one of these areas, so let's say these passes here with the crate. So I'm going to double click on the grade, but you can see that all of the knobs are grayed out. So this is because this is published. So on the live group, we hit make editable, and then we can go in and make some changes. So let's say we want the crate to be a more of a purple tint to it. So this is how we want our crate to look. All we need to do now is hit publish and save it as a new version. So we'll click OK and you can see those knobs have now grayed out on the grade. Now we jump back to the main node graph. If we have a look at our live group, we can version it down and we can see version five is without that purple tint and we have version six. So now when we have a look at our contact sheet node again, we can compare the changes we've done to this crab and the shot to the other two that are currently being worked on.